Mitsui Maeda, also known as Count Coma, was the man responsible for introducing Jiu-Jitsu to Brazil. Uncle Carlos was one of his students. Not the only one, though. With the increased popularity of the Gracie brothers, with their sensational fights and exciting victories, they became an inspiration to the whole country. Naturally, that led some people a little bit jealous about their success. One of them was Manuel Rufino dos Santos, a wrestler and a gymnastics teacher in Brazil at the time. Santos was also a student of Count Coma. He started saying that the only reason the Gracie did so well is because the fights were fixed, they were prearranged, which is absolutely not true. That caused a controversy at the time, and Uncle Carlos eventually challenged Rufino dos Santos to a match. They fought, and during the match, Uncle Carlos submitted Santos. He tapped out very discreetly, and after Uncle Carlos let go, he claimed that he never tapped out. After a long argument, it was determined that the fight should be reinitiated. Uncle Carlos refused to do that and walked out. As a result of that, Rufino started saying the Gracie's are cowards and putting out you know, a bad word about the family, making all kinds of comments in the media and so forth. The Gracie's decided that Rufino should be punished for that. And it happened on an evening one time when Rufino was approaching a club, Tijuca Tennis Club in Rio, to teach his classes in wrestling and gymnastics. The five Gracie brothers were there, four of them kept the crowd away, and my father came up to him and said, Rufino, you said the fights are fixed, I have a message for you and proceeded to beat him up. As a result of that, Rufino then went to the police, lied, and said the five Gracie boys that jumped and beat him up, which is not true. Nevertheless, that process led to a sentence of two and a half years in prison for the Gracie brothers. It became a big, huge movement in Brazil of influential people asking on behalf of the Gracies. Eventually, a list of hundreds of the most influential people came to the Brazilian president, Getúlio Vargas, who once he see, received the letter, he said, with all these people asking on behalf of the Gracies, I can't keep him in prison. And he signed a presidential pardon, releasing everybody from jail after one week in prison. The picture was taken the day they came out. That's my Uncle George, Uncle Carlos, and my father, really, uh, being, getting out of prison, carried out as national heroes.